In this video, you'll learn how to create a thermometer gauge in Excel with a fully integrated beaker. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. I have Excel tutorial for you today. I'm gonna walk through how to create this thermometer gauge template in Excel and what makes this thermometer gauge stand out from a lot of other walkthroughs you're gonna see on thermometer gauges is this bottom part of the beaker. The circle part is going to be fully integrated with the top portion. So you can see as the progress percents below a certain threshold, it's going to incrementally increase that bottom portion until you get up to the shaft. So a lot of times you'll see that be a complete fill. And then the only time you really see the progress is when you get into the shaft of the beaker for the thermometer. This walkthrough will show how we can go from the base all the way to the top, make it actually present uh, more accurately the, the progress percent and be able to track some of those lower progress percent values. In order to do that, we're gonna actually need to use Excel and PowerPoint and I'll walk through the, the complete process. So to get started, let's just grab some base data here, the description, the progress percent and target, and just put it on a new sheet. So we're all starting with the, the same base information here. And to start, we will just select our, our data and we'll go up to insert and we'll do our charts. And we're just gonna do the 2D cluster column, the first selection here. And when we do that, we're going to go up to chart design and we're actually going to switch our rows and columns. So let's blow this up just a little bit so we can see it better. And so the 55% and the 75% are represented by the blue and the 100%, which is our target, the max value, is represented by this orange. So once we have that all in, we're going to select the, the Y axis, do control one to bring up your format axis dialog box over on the right, and we're gonna go ahead and make that max value of one. And that could be whatever value you want to be your max value, but 100% is gonna make the most sense uh, for any of these progress percents. So we've done that. We have our two charts. We can just see how they move as we update values. And then if you go above 100%, you can see it stops. The blue stops at 100%. So even though it's at 115% progress, we're not gonna go into no man's land above that. So that is base data that'll function as it should. And now we're gonna go create our beakers in PowerPoint. So I have PowerPoint pulled up here. We're gonna go up to insert, and we're gonna do shapes and you could do rectangle. This will be the shaft portion of our thermometer gauge. Draw that in we'll do the same thing for the bottom part of the beaker. I'm gonna go down to the flowchart area and collect and select this connector. Okay, line that up. Make sure that looks like a thermometer and then go ahead and do a shift and select both of them. And then go align center just to make sure it's lined appropriately. And then shape format, there's gonna be this merge shapes option. And this is the, the big differentiator, that option, the merge shapes is not available in Excel, it's only in PowerPoint. And once we selected that, you can see we now have one shape. We do not have a rectangle and a circle anymore. We have one thermometer as our only shape. Go ahead and just do a control C, copy that, flip back to Excel, do a control V to paste that in. So there's our thermometer. And I'll just make a note, it is much easier to do your formatting for your charts with the thermometer shape before you get embedded into the chart. So just wanted to make that comment. If you're gonna update colors, it's best to have a place, just keep this as a placeholder. If you wanna update, add bars or change formatting, it's easier to do with this than copy into the chart versus trying to deal with the layering once we get it all stacked on top of each other. So let's go ahead and just do a control C and then double click the, the first blue, Bar there and control V to copy it in. So there's our first thermometer. And then we'll do the same thing, but we're gonna go shape format and we're gonna do shape fill and we're gonna do no fill on this one. So this is gonna be a control C and copy double click into the first orange. So there's the, the blue color, the outline is the same on both. And then we have the fill for our progress percent, the 15. Now we can go ahead and select it again, shape format, this will be our second series and we can make that maybe a green and then we'll do the shape outline outline the same color as well do a control c double click our second blue guy and then control v there and then we'll reselect it one more time and then go ahead and change that shape fill to no fill 
Control C, double click our second orange, Control V. All right, so now we have our color coding for our two thermometer gauges. We can get rid of this bottom, just select it and click delete, get rid of that bottom area, and we can get rid of the percents as well. Select it and click delete, and the grid lines. Select it, hit delete. Nice clean looking chart. And so first thing is we're gonna double click our first blue thermometer, and then we're gonna go over here to the fill and line, and then we'll select the fill option. And there's gonna be the stack and scale width, and it's gonna be a one. And then we'll do the same thing, double click, stack and scale width one, and do this for each one of the, the individual columns, stack and scale width, stack and scale width. And this is to ensure whenever we overlap them that they are gonna be scaled the same way. All right, so now we have everything stacked and scaled with. And then our last step here, it's going to be selecting our, our progress percents, and then you're going to get this series overlap on your series options. And it's going to default to probably minus 27%. Go ahead and just make that 100. And then we can change the gap width here to maybe 150, see how that looks. Okay. All right, so now we have both charts. They are overlapping 100%. And so if we go through here and fill these up, so we're at 15%, now we're at 50, 75, 100, and then 115, 500%. You can see it just stops there at the 100% the threshold. And then whenever we get down here, 10%, it's going to be only filling up a portion of the bottom portion of the beaker versus that being a solid fill like is typical where it's gonna be a solid color of the beaker, and then you just see your progress when you get up to the shaft. And here we can go 75% just so we see the fill. So at this point, we're basically done. We have a little bit more formatting we could do. We could do a border. I always like to do the rounded corners. I think that always looks nice and clean. We could change the, the color formatting. This is just um, some minor formatting you can do. Change the chart title, and we can actually go up here, and we could um, add a add a data label. If you click this option, go to data labels. Let's go outside end, bring that in, and then we'll go ahead and select it, and then we'll do value from cells, reference our progress percent. Okay, get rid of the value, get rid of the show leader lines. We can bold that, just select it, control B, same with our product one, product two, make that, see we update that, it'll come through automatically. And yeah, there there is our thermometer gauge. We have our progress percents up top as we fill up our, our beaker, our thermometer, you can see it changes dynamically. And then we get above 100%. We still have our data label to distinguish that we are above 100%, but the beaker is just gonna be filled up to 100%. So hopefully you found this helpful. I will have a link in the description to a thermometer gauge chart I have available on my Etsy page. Otherwise, I think you are equipped to make this yourself. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and God bless.